What's up guys? So, um, I know all my reviews have been about shoes, but I'm gonna show you something different today. Uh, this is something I, I enjoy a lot, so I take this to the range quite often, but I haven't been in a while because uh, ammunition prices have been skyrocketing. But I'm gonna show you what I got collectively um, so far, just as a collection. Uh, of course, guns are very expensive and very dangerous, so... Um, as a warning, just everybody be careful with this. This is not toys. These are used, uh, these are very dangerous. I don't recommend uh, people purchasing this for, um, you know, committing any any violent acts. This is just for sport. Um, I do have uh, my handgun, of course, for um, self-defense purposes in case uh, anyone were to try and break into my, pro my house. But I'm going to show you what I have and um, just show you a quick view and... Uh, Tell you what I've done. So, um, my first gun that I got, well, was actually this is the second one I got, was the uh, Smith and Wesson SW9 VE. This is modeled after the uh, Glock, um, although Smith and Wesson doesn't really want to say that it's modeled after the Glock. But um, of course, as always, you check the chamber. You can see there's nothing, no bullets, nothing in there. This comes with two rounds, uh, two clips. Uh, each holding about 15 and probably one in the chamber. Um, when I bought this, this was a really cheap gun. It was about 250 bucks. I bought it uh, just to have as a 9mm um, because I wanted a 9. Uh, and I liked the style. I thought it was going to be more like the Glock. But the uh, trigger handle on this is very heavy. So when you tend to squeeze, if you're not, very, not a very strong person, because it's so heavy, the trigger weight, it tends to pull. So when whenever you're shooting, it tends to pull to whichever way you're pulling. So the uh, the target's very off. If of course, if you're a stronger person, you can hold it, hold the and squeeze the trigger. Then this uh, this shoot this uh, is going to shoot dead on um, with every round. But of course, um, the trigger handle is very heavy for me, so I tend to pull it whenever I squeeze. And that's the uh, Smith & Wesson SW9VE. This is a 9mm uh, model. I got this one because uh, my first gun that I ever bought, this was the one I really wanted the most. Because I like the way it looked. It's not uh, regular compared to your um, regular Berettas, the uh, 92F. This is called the uh, PX4 Storm. Of course, you'll see it's um, no run in the chamber. It's not loaded. This comes with two clips, each holding about uh, 15 rounds and then one in the chamber. You can see safety's on, and if I want to take the safety off, um, I can do it that way. And uh, of course, this is what the gun looks like, PX4 Storm. This is a 40 cal. This is what I mainly use for home self-defense if I were to leave it out. I normally leave it with a clip in it with one in the chamber and uh, I usually leave it uh, close to me in case something were to ever happen. Now this is a really good gun, I really like this a lot. 40 caliber has a lot of kickback to it and the interesting about this gun is that it has a rotating barrel right here. It's not like your a regular a typical barrel where it's just one single barrel. It has a barrel in the front. What this is is a rotating cartridge that rotates when it fires, ejecting the shell. So this was a really good cool gun. And um, like I said, it's a 40 caliber round. And uh, I really like this model a lot. I went, I took this to the range. I probably fired maybe like a thousand rounds to this already and it's no problems, no jamming, no nothing. And then of course, uh, what gun collection would be complete without an AR course? This is my uh, Smith & Wesson. <clears throat> This is a Smith & Wesson M&P uh, 15. Um, it has two 30 round clips. I ordered an extra 30 round clip for it. Um, this was of course before all that crap happened with the, um, you know, the Sandy Hook thing and all that. Of course, I, I by no means intend to use this for any type of uh, violent purposes. This is just my uh, gun that I want, I like to shoot at the range because I find it to be very fun. So this is the MP15 AR. It fires uh, 555, I mean 556 and 223 rounds. You can see I upgraded the front 
to a Magpul uh, front handle. So it's not the standard typical handle. Um, it has the uh, Picatillany railings for um, if you want to add some sights. I had a couple sights on here before, but they just didn't work that well. Uh, so I took them off, but I'm going to try and get maybe a Magpul, just standard flip up sight. Um, I upgraded the uh, the bolt action to um, what is this a uh, BCM gunfighter? So as you can see, here's the MMP 15 model, 30 round clip, and the uh, normal um, bolt action right here. It's a lot smaller, so I got the uh, middle range um, bolt action um, lever, so that way it's a lot easier to. Uh, to fire and cock back. So, um, it's of course on safety. And there's the bolt. So, you see, there's no rounds in there. Okay. And, uh, like I said, I really like this gun. I fired probably a thousand rounds through this too. Uh, it hardly jams. Um, this is an AR model, so it has extendable. Um, shorter. Uh, normally I keep it kind of closed. Now I would never use this for uh, self-defense, of course, because uh, if I were to fire um, two, three, three, two, two, three rounds through my house, it would go through like every wall in the house and it would just not be convenient for me to pick this up and try and defend myself if uh, an intruder came in the house. But this is just for fun. Uh, this is just a shoot. This is just a gun. That, um, of course, like I said, I like to take to the range. Um, I really like the uh, Magpul front. It's very ergonomical. Um, and it's held up pretty good, quite far, you know, pretty good so far. Um, of course, the uh, lever to eject the cartridge is on the other side. So you can see there's no rounds in here. I haven't bought any for a long time because the uh, prices have just skyrocketed on ammunition. So, um, of course, uh, like I said, I just wanted to show something different because I know I've been doing a lot of shoe reviews and you guys are probably like, what the hell, all these videos are just a bunch of shoes. So, I wanted to show something different. So, this is my collection. I also have a, a 22 for my wife, which is a, a purple 22 6 hour, but um, I don't even know where that is in, in the house right now. And... Um, we plan to get some other stuff later on, but um, I'm not exactly certain. I want to get myself a shotgun uh, for home defense because, of course, uh, like I said, if I were to fire a two, two, three round, this would probably go through my house and through the neighbor's house, um, possibly hurting other people. And um, these guns are just mainly for self defense. So, um, as always, guys, uh, you know, like I said, if you buy, if you're interested in this type of thing, um, you know, use ex use caution. Um, like I said, never use it for violence. Um, these are just for sport and fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and uh, hit that thumbs up. Peace, guys.